Hey guys, it's me, Christina Marie. I am gonna show you guys how to do an ombre lip, the easiest way to do an ombre lip. I realized today by trying to show my best friend um, how to do a ombre lip, that it can be quite confusing for a lot of people. And I had, we were doing Marco Polo. I don't know if you guys have that app, you know, where, you know, she leaves me a video message. I leave her a video message. We went on and on and on. And she attempted four times to do this. And then I just decided, I'm gonna show you guys how to do a perfect ombre, the easiest way that I think that you get an ombre lip. So I'm gonna go ahead and just pull you guys close to me. Ooh. So I have one color lipstick. I have a one color lipstick right now. This is a liquid lip, so it's mattified, right? So when you're doing an ombre lip, if you're doing a lipstick, you wanna stick with a, lip, a second color that's a lipstick. If you're doing a mattified, liquid lip you want to stick with another mattified liquid lip so this is another mattified liquid lip i am actually the color that i'm wearing is the sephora this is a liquid lip in the i believe this is pink tea okay so i'm going to go ahead and go with a lighter shade so we have that dimension and color this is coral corruption 922b by wet and wild so the best way to do it for me is to take wow there's a lot of product that came out on that is to take a little bit on your finger, a little bit on your finger, dab in the middle. Take your other clean finger and just fan it out. Do it again. Now you build it up. You don't wanna just chunk it down. You wanna build it up. Okay, clean finger. You guys see the graduation? I'm not taking it all the way out because I want the focus to be right in the center. Isn't that pretty? Now let's go ahead and do it on the top. I'm gonna use this finger, this one. I'm not flicking you off, just this one. See how it's going out too far? So I'm gonna get the other clean finger and push it more towards the middle because I don't want it to thread too far. And I want it to be more in the middle of the lip. And that is how you do an ombre lip. You guys can see. So I have darker on the outsides, darker on the outsides, and then it goes to that light color in the middle. Obviously, if this was a metallic color, it would be a lot more vibrant, but this is a matte liquid lip. Let me push you out so you guys can see the difference. Do you see how my lips now look like I'm not wearing a one-toned lipstick? I have that dimension. I have that, mm, that you focus more on the lips and you're like, oh, that's a really pretty color because it's two different colors, but they blend seamlessly together. I hope you guys enjoyed this little tip on how to do an ombre lip. This is personally how I do mine. There are obviously other tricks and techniques, but you do want to focus that color directly in the middle of the lip. It can directly in the middle of the lip. So you have voluptuous looking lips like I do. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could, please give this video a thumbs up. Hit that little subscribe button down there somewhere and the tiny little bell next to it so you guys get notifications of new videos. I am Christina Marie. I'm out. Bye.